In the movie The Matrix, Morpheus brings Neo into The Matrix and becomes something of a guru to him. Uh, Morpheus becomes Neo's guru. Um, one of the interesting quotes, and I don't know if I'm getting it right, but he's, uh, Morpheus says to Neo, this system, whether or not we understand them, this system has rules that you're in. Um, fundamentally. Now, the interesting thing about that is um, the ultimate aim of Morpheus becoming Neo's guru, as it were, is to cope with, teach more, uh, Neo to cope with and yet transcend these rules. It's the fundamental uh, issue of self-discipline. The difference between having a free mind and uh, having, um, I guess, a careless disregard of the rules of the game that you're in. Because it's ironic if you decide that you're simply going to violate the rules, there will be consequences, and you will lose your your actual freedom. If uh, even if I'm in even if I'm in the matrix and I decide that I'm going to violate the rules of, of a system that I know is unreal. A certain amount of reality will come at me, or apparent reality, and I will be, I will lose a lot of my freedom. If I decide that I'm just, say, let's say I know that I'm in the Matrix, and I know that it's not real for me to go and kill somebody, but if I kill somebody, then the Matrix sort of concentrates itself upon me to deal with the fact that I've committed this murder, and I've lost a lot of my own freedom, even though no one has died. <laughs> um, so self-discipline, even in a system that you know to be fundamentally unreal or fundamentally illusory, is still necessary. You can imagine what, it, what it's like to be a murderer. You don't actually have to kill anybody. Because if you actually do violate the rules of the Matrix, there will be consequences that you're going to find very, very difficult to uh, counteract. So just because I don't understand, or but just because I believe that this thing we have around us is not as real as I think it is, doesn't mean that I can completely disregard it. I can't disregard the rules. Now I mentioned in my previous video what we would do with a newborn to prevent, or to educate the newborn, but try to do so in a way that does not indoctrinate. We can say, listen, Neo, here are the rules. Okay, I've been around here maybe a little, bit, a little bit longer than you have, and I won't claim to know what this is. Or I won't claim to know in any way that I can explain to you. But here's the rules as far as I have understood them. And it's important at the very beginning that you learn what these rules are. You have to learn how to how to walk. You have to learn how to respect gravity. You have to learn how to speak. You have to learn how to prepare food. I'm going to have to teach you how to go out and work uh, to earn what you require in this plane of existence. But just because I'm teaching you all of these rules, all that I'm ultimately doing is setting the stage for you to do something that you have to do yourself. I can teach you to cope with the matrix. But that is just the very beginning. The rest is up to you. Morpheus consistently says this to Neo. You have to do this yourself. Um, ideology, I think, would say, we've discovered everything there is to discover, Neo. Do as I say. Um, and anything other than doing as I say and thinking what I tell you to think is wrong and the consequences are what's important. Um, the consequences are generally terrible <laughs> if you violate the rules. So fundamentally the issue here is fear. Don't break the rules because of fear of the uh, consequences. That's ideology. Whereas in the movie The Matrix, Morpheus says, I don't want you to break the rules simply because doing so, violating the rules, will prevent you from reaching 
something better than this. Uh, it's not really fear. It's just, I suppose, avoiding a pointless series of distractions on the road to finding out what is going on around us. Um, mental fetters are, if anything, if you ask me, far more uh, of an imprisonment than the physical ones. And ideology always is telling you there's, that life, universe, everything is a minefield and there's all kinds of minds you can step on. And the consequences of stepping on one of those minds are terrible. Whereas um, non-ideological education says you don't want to step on one of those minds because it's a pain in the ass to do that, ultimately. Uh, it distracts you from reaching a better condition than we're in right now. That is a fundamental distinction, if you ask me. It's extremely important because fear is something that prevents us from being free. You cannot be free and bound by fear. Ideology always has a, as its weapon of last resort fear. Don't go over there. Don't pick that fruit off that tree and eat it because the consequences are horrific. Fear. <laughs> that's ideology. And uh, that's brainwashing. Thank you.